Well, once again, a very happy Friday night here in Southwest Louisiana. Thankfully, things are nowhere near as hot as before, but we definitely still are pretty warm and humid outside. That includes over at the Lake Charles Regional Airport. The temperature has been knocked down to 83 degrees, but the humidity we still have in place keeps the heat index into the low 90s right now. Thankfully, the rest of our temperatures have fallen a little bit over the past couple of hours. Now, generally in the low to mid 80s, 81 in De Quincey takes the award for coolest spot on the map. We go to 84 over in Jennings. The temperature is still 89 degrees along the coastline in Cameron, so we really have not gotten much in the way of cooling relief, at least down by the coast. But no matter where you are, though, we just don't have really any sort of rainfall around right now. We did see a few isolated showers and storms develop today. Most of the real widespread stuff, though, remained off to the east. And no matter where you look on this map, basically all the rain is, for the most part, dwindled out. And we're not expecting any as we head into the overnight. So over the next few hours, again, maybe you're on the way back from outdoor plans or on the way back home. Maybe you still do have any plans later this evening. The warmth and humidity is something that's only going to continue to remain in place. That is exactly what we have going on Futurecast here. It's going to be a gradual cooling trend until tomorrow when we head into the afternoon and have things warm up quickly. By even around our lunch hour, the heat index should push near 100 degrees and likely top out near 110 in spots. So continue to stay hydrated, take frequent breaks, and just use a lot of caution outdoors. That's always good advice no matter which summer day you pick out. In terms of rain, well, that's also something I think looks a lot like today. We'll see, I think, a few showers and storms try to develop closer to the coastline in the early afternoon. But aside from that, again, we could see a few pop-up showers and storms throughout the afternoon in various locations. But overall, I don't think we're going to see anything really organized. Rain looks limited for the most part, so that's going to make the heat really the biggest concern until we head into the evening once again. If you are looking for changes, well, don't get your hopes up this weekend. Unfortunately, things are going to remain the same with upper level high pressure still close enough to keep our temperatures hot. So the hot weather, the humidity with a couple afternoon showers and storms, that pattern is only going to continue this weekend. If you are looking for changes, there's a couple opportunities. One, if we see any disturbances right around the eastern edge of this high pressure, that could slightly boost rain chances. We'll keep an eye on that, but overall chances even there still look low. We'll wait until the or middle part of next week, excuse me. That's where we may see a weak cool front try to swing down. Now, don't get your hopes up about any sort of cool down. In fact, it's not a guarantee at all this front actually makes it here, but if it does, by Tuesday or Wednesday, maybe we get lucky and see a reduction in our humidity. We'll keep our fingers crossed and keep an eye on that. Hopefully that turns out to be the case. In the tropics, we still have Hurricane Ernesto. It's been really hammering Bermuda this evening, but that's going to continue moving off to the northeast. Of course, that's nothing we have to worry about locally. And actually, for that matter, behind Ernesto, there's really nothing doing in the tropics at all. Hopefully this lasts as long as we can, considering we're in the middle of August, but hey, we'll take that for as long as we can have it here. The bottom line is that the big concern is just going to remain those temperatures. Check these numbers out. They'll be into the mid to upper 90s each and every day with a slight chance for rain, but Cynthia, I would not count on that for any cooling relief. That's what we have air conditioning for. All right, I'm staying under the AC this weekend. Good idea, me too. <laughs> All right, thanks, Max. Whether you're a professional athlete,